everyone, welcome back to An Artist Travels. My name is Nikki, and today we're doing Enneagrams for Actors. Today I'm going to find out my Enneagram type, and I'm going to analyse it from the perspective of an actor. So, just in case you don't know what the Enneagram is, I'm going to read for you a definition. The Enneagram is a system of personality typing that describes patterns in how people interpret the world and manage their emotions. So there are nine different personality types. Essentially what happens is that you're grouped into one of these nine and it will tell you a lot about yourself. Now, I come from a history of being quite, uh, what's the word, skeptical about um, personality quizzes and that sort of thing. Until I came across the Myers-Briggs personality type and my mind was blown. You might have heard people say like, I'm an INF, I, I'm an INFP, I'm a, EFPC, whatever. Anyway, I thought it was so, I read it and I was like, this is actually scary accurate. And it was very helpful in that moment of reading it to see like, this is how I am and this is the areas that I can improve on. So I thought it'd be really fun to look at the way I manage my emotions and the way I approach life and my thought processes and see how that applies to my acting. For those of you who don't know, I'm an actress, a writer, and also a teacher of both of those disciplines. And actually I think it will be helpful for my teaching side as well. How do I approach the world? How do I manage my emotions? And all of that kind of thing. I think it's always good to learn more about yourself. And when we look to actors, we can see that there are so many different types of actors. Of course, there is a training and the skills that they've picked up. For example, an actor might be more Meisner based than another actor, but it's also their personalities because when you're acting, you're bringing your full self to the table. You can see, for example, that Viola Davis is very different from Tom Hanks. It's a very different sort of actor from Denzel Washington. who's a very different sort of actor from Will Smith. So it's just like thinking about that and just I think just really becoming secure in the type of actor you are and maybe the Enneagram will help, maybe it won't, I don't know. I'm about to do it right now, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it um, from the perspective of an actress. Let's do it. I think I'm more of like the spontaneous, very like, like dream big person, dream big and then work towards those goals. I don't think, I'm not typically the person where like someone comes to me with a big dream and I'm like, okay, let's be rational, let's be ideal. I'm like, go sit. What are we gonna do to make it work? That's me. <laughs> so, uh, probably not the reformer. Okay, let's go. I work hard to be helpful to others. Yes. It's important to make other people like me. <laughs> Accurate. It's your definition of perfection, because I have very high standards and I want, when I'm working on a creative project, I want it to be perfect to me, but I don't necessarily care about it being perfect for everyone, because it can't be perfect for everyone. Feel my emotions very deeply. I mean, I do, but I can also suppress them very well. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I don't feel them deeply. Oh, this is so confusing. I'm not, mm, I'm gonna say neutral because I have friends who feel their emotions so deeply. They're like very sensitive people and I'm not quite that level. I love those people though. I love my friends who are highly sensitive people. I, there's something, I think it's low key just because, um, I'm starting to like psychoanalyze myself right now. <laughs> like confrontational. I'm not confrontational, but I am decisive and I am willful. So willful. I make more significant contributions than the average person. What? That's, what does that mean though? One of them says, I am concerned about security more than anything else. And it's really funny because I feel like, I feel like a lot of people require more security than I feel that I do. As someone who is a Christian, my security comes through God. So it's like, I feel very secure, but I feel like how security is going to be defined in this. The answer is like, really beginning to get a sense of peace and what I do and do not need to know and what I do and what I can and cannot control and I'm just like that's not my job to know I'm not getting paid to worry about everything so um I guess it's a low on the security but it's so funny because I feel really secure but like it's like in the physical it's interesting it's interesting I don't fit in with ordinary people define ordinary I can fit in almost anywhere I go 
because I like talking to people, but truly in terms of like feeling at home, probably not with that many people. So I'm going to say, yeah, I like to be around people who I can help. Yeah, yes, I do. I do. But again, that's something I'm also, I have been unlearning for quite a while now because it used to be real bad guys. Like, and now it's like, chill but actually no i do like to be around people yeah no, i will give that to <laughs> it's not to bad levels anymore but i still do like to do that sometimes when people are behaving really badly i am on it and then other times i'm like yeah i am an upbeat person <laughs> i am a stagosaurus i felt like the caretaker the achiever because everything that was goal oriented, I was like, hi, accurate. Okay, get my results. Uh, drum roll. It's complicated. The graph below shows how you scored for each of the nine types of your Enneagram. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I got a 98% match on personality type two and personality type three. So they were both equal and on 98%, that's super high. Let's go through them. Type two can be described as the giver. Interesting. Twos want to be liked and find ways that they can be helpful to others so that they can be loved and belong. Okay. Type three, also a 98% match. Type three is also known as the achiever. Threes want to be successful and admired by other people and are very conscious of their public image. Interesting. Very close-ish after that is a type seven. I don't know why, what is this? Type seven with a 92% match. Type seven is described as the enthusiast. Yeah, sevens want to have as much fun and adventure as possible and are easily bored. Am I easily bored? I mean, <laughs> maybe I am. Um, then with an 86% match was type four. Type four is known as, oh, interesting the individualist fours want to be unique and live life authentically and are highly attuned to their emotional experience okay so what have i learned from taking the enneagram 98 percent type 2 the giver famous people who fit into this type 2 category have included whitney houston lionel richie who else was it john travolta john lithgow love John Lithgow. Oh my gosh, he was so creepy in Dexter. I don't know if anyone saw. John Lithgow, Mother Teresa, and Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I mean, I just feel like, I just feel like, let me not get gassed. But anyway, I just thought that's quite a nice crop of people. By that, I didn't think I was going to get that. I mean, it's a nice thing to hear about yourself, to hear that you're a giver, but I just didn't think I was that much of a giver. So I don't know. I don't know. One of the biggest lessons about acting I've learned to give yourself fully, to give yourself fully to the script, to give yourself fully to the scene, and very importantly, to give yourself fully to whoever you are performing with. So, so much of acting got unlocked for me when I started the Meissner technique and I learned, wait a minute, it's not about me. It's about putting all my focus on the other person and just listening and responding authentically in that moment. So for me, like, it's quite interesting to hear, oh, give her, because then I think, okay, I can lean into that even more. I can lean into the, just like, giving myself. Um, because sometimes I think you can be givers in other areas, but also like just remembering to be a giver in your acting as well. Um, so that for me is definitely something to think about, just to give all my emotion and like all my feelings and just be vulnerable completely in the moment on the stage. Another thing us givers might think about is that we're actually a really great um, addition to a team. So if we're like, basically I just think we're very collaborative people because we like to give. Obviously just be careful that you're not giving too much so that you yourself are getting exhausted and drained. But also there is that really lovely element where you're, you might be very well suited to collaborative theatre making. A lot of the theatre I make is quite collaborative and ensemble based. Or, you know, just working in a big group when you're working on a film or a movie set, for example. Very collaborative situation. So you're going to be a great person to be around because you're a giver. And who doesn't love a giver? I also hit 98% on a type 4. A type 4, um, they tend to be very 
Type four are the people who are very driven, very successful, and very aware of their public image. So again, according to another website I just found, famous type fours include Marlon Brando, Nicolas Cage, Johnny Depp, Michael Jackson, Prince, David Bowie, Freddie Mercury, Amy Winehouse, um, Kate Winslet, was Kate Winslet on there? Kate Winslet, Daniel Day-Lewis, Meryl Streep, Anne Rice, Laurence Olivier, Alan Rickman, Neil Gaiman, you get the gist. Now, obviously not everyone's gonna like fit into this, but I feel like I was noticing a little bit of a trend. I feel like there were a lot of, oh my gosh, is that? <laughs> And Prince Charles. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I feel like when I was looking through all that list, there were a lot of people who were like quirky people. Do you know what I mean? Like quirky. So like Prince, Neil Gaiman, I, I honestly would put under like quirky. Tim Burton was also there. Um, obviously not everyone, but just looking at that, I could just see people who sort of like paved their own creative path. I find that so fascinating. There's a lot in there for me to think about right now because there is a lot in me that I feel that is so <coughs> weird. Not weird, but like so that it's like begging to, Kate Bush was in there as well. It's just like begging to show outwardly the complex emotions that are within. If that makes, I don't know. I just feel like I want to create my own style that might be weird to other people. Now, because I'm very conscious of public image, I haven't necessarily done that. Like, I don't always wear the clothes I want to wear. I'm getting better at it now. Uh, my fashion sense is definitely shifting. Um, but yeah, just there's something that's so fascinating to me about personas and like mystery and fashion that I need to think about because it would just express who I am so much more honestly and yeah just seeing all those people and just being like oh just remembering like it's okay like people have gone before you and like they might look weird to people who don't get them but they are honestly just expressing themselves so anyway what can we learn as actors from this well a being driven is a very very good thing like you're gonna need your drive as an actor i actually always say whenever younger performers come up to me or they don't have to be younger but people who are just beginning to perform they say like have you got any tips? I'm like the number one thing in this industry is perseverance. If you don't have perseverance, like you need perseverance in my opinion. The other thing I think to be wary of is actually that it seems like type fours are, they are successful and they are often in the public light, but because of their personality type, they are sensitive. We have people like Prince Charles, Princess Diana, Michael Jackson, like Prince, like all these people for whom the, like, not social media, but for whom the media, like the public image, had a massive impact on their life, obviously as celebrities, but just, you know, as people as well. And I think actually there is something in there about don't, not allowing the opinions of others, no matter how surrounding that they might be, don't allow it to affect your own image of yourself. I know that's something that I need to be careful of because, as we've seen, 98% also a giver. Uh, I do care about people's perceptions of me and I need to work on that. Um, but I need to be careful not to let that, not to internalize what I perceive to be other people's impressions of me and not to allow that to make me feel really upset or anything like that or to distract me from my focus. So I think like type four, awesome, like we're driven, we're successful, we're creative, we're like all of these things, we have our own style and our own flair and all of that. But like lean into the difference and don't be scared of people who do not understand that difference. I would say it's a type four. Finally, we're going to talk very briefly about type seven, which is the enthusiast. Famous type sevens include Jim Carrey, George Clooney, Chuck Berry, and of course, Robin Williams. In those, I see people who really leaned into the fun, loving side of themselves. Oh, Tom Hanks was in there as well. So I think actually what I'm gonna take away from this for my performance life and just my life in general is to lean into that a little bit more because you know what they say, the more you live your life, the better an actor you are. And it's so true. I feel like you don't understand that when you're young. When you're young and you're just like, you're like, I don't know, like 13, you're like, I wanna perform now. I wanna be in drama school now. And people are like, live your life. You're like, but why? But actually it's so important and for me like just meeting different people and understanding how other people see the world and just like 
falling in love with different types of like cultures and languages really enriches my acting. So I really encourage people who are adventurers, now you have an extra excuse to um, go on more adventures because you can say it's helping your acting, which it is, you know? So if you needed any extra motivation to live an adventurous life, you've got it. So perfect for acting, um, where there's constant variety and, you know, there's lots of change. I suppose unless you're, you know, performing the same show on like West End for a few years, for many years at a time. But typically actors are jumping from role to role to role to role, right? So I think this is the perfect job for us. Lean into that, people will appreciate it and your sense of humour and your uniqueness. So I hope this was an interesting video for you. I had so much fun. It was pretty spontaneous. I just turned on the camera and started speaking, which now I've done the Enneagram, you know, I mean, don't blame me. It's the personality type. I am spontaneous. If you do do the Enneagram, please comment below if you're planning on doing the Enneagram or if you have done it, let me know what you are and what you think you're going to take away from your acting. And if there's anything else that I could have added to like my very brief analysis of the different types, um, if there's anything else that you think I should think about as um, a giver, an enthusiast, and the type four, what's the name of the type four? Like the, and the achiever. I think type four, the achiever. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and press like on the video. And I will see you next time for more fun, motivational videos for young artists and creatives alike. All right, bye.